Hey, CW Apes, Mr. Kennedy here. Today, we're going to take our first kind of like jump into the deep end world of math and environmental science. Um, I have a document here that is titled Factor Labeling Pre-Quiz. I usually call this the Blobfish Math Activity. Um, and sometimes you could see from the title there, I use it as a quiz. So the whole idea here is for you to learn dimensional analysis. And there'll be several activities as we finish up um, this unit that we're in that will help you with math. Okay. Now, if you're not really good at math, don't freak out. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how to do some dimensional analysis here, and over time, hopefully it will become second nature. As we read the instructions, it says, use the information to, in, the, in the table to solve these problems. So this, this is the table that's being referred to. Um, the units are made up, but they are um, really the real animal names. So there is a such thing as a dumbbell octopus, an oxalotl, tarsier, frill neck lizard, but the numbers that are connecting them, like I have no proof that it takes 15 frill neck lizards to somehow equal one tarsier. That's just made up values for fun and for dimensional analysis. So what you're going to need to do in order to um, get full credit on something like this is um, you need to be able to show your setup and do some quote unquote long math without just like trying to punch numbers into a calculator and put an equal sign after this. If I'm grading this and you put how many tarsiers in one blobfish and you just go uh, like the answer is 500 or something and you don't show any work and you don't show any long math, then you don't get any points. OK, so it's really, really important. Um, that's not the right answer, by the way. Um, so, you know, that you show your work because the college board, when they grade your work, um, sometimes if you get the answer wrong, but your setup is within the realm of acceptability, you'll still get points on FRQs. OK. So uh, these are dimensional analysis problems. And one of the things that I always encourage students to do as we do dimensional analysis is kind of create a graphic organizer or a mental map of what you've started with and where you want to go as you're doing your dimensional analysis. So let's jump into the first problem. It says, how many tarsiers um, are in one blobfish? How many tarsiers in one blobfish? So that tells me that uh, I'm starting off with a blobfish and I need to get to tarsiers. Okay, so I'm going to look down here at my um, parenthetical statements, if you will, or conversion factors, and um, are, you know, just check to see if there's any that can take me directly from blobfish to tarsier. There's only one blobfish um, conversion factor in this table, and it is right here. Okay, and uh, no, it doesn't go directly to tarsiers. So what I need to do is use some, some of my powers of logic and deduction to figure out how I can go from blobfish to tarsiers, and I've got a couple of options here. I can go blobfish to narwhal, right? And then maybe narwhal to frill neck lizards and then frill neck lizards to tarsiers, right? Um, you know, that's probably the most direct route. I can't really go like to Dumbo octopi because there's no connection from blobfish to narwhal to like Dumbo octopus. So I can't really use the Dumbo octopus um, or even oxalotl parenthetical statements here because the only parenthetical statement or conversion factor that has blobfish in it is going to make me convert my blobfish to narwhal. And then there's no other way like to get to dumbbell octopus to tarsiers and things like that. Okay. So what I'd like you to do as you start these things is kind of create a mental map again of what you're starting with and where you're going to go. So um, for me, I know that I'm going to start with a blobfish, blobfish. And that first parenthetical statement is going to convert my blobfish to um, narwhal, okay? So um, I'm going to write that down because that's the first step. The second step I can see here, I've got to go narwhal to frill neck lizards. So um, the narwhal to, and I'm just going to write F and L for frill neck lizard because that's easier. And then from frill neck lizards, look, I can go to tarsiers. So I'm going to go F and L to my tarsier. And that's going to be the flow of my dimensional analysis. Okay. So now it's just a matter of doing a little problem solving here. And as you set this up in dimensional analysis, you want to remember um, you're going to create parenthetical statements and simply do some cross canceling, some simple multiplication and division. Um, that's really all the, the math entails. 
So I know that I'm starting with one blobfish, so I'm going to write that like this, one B for blobfish over one. One over one is one, okay? So I've got one blobfish, and then I need to cancel out that blobfish so that I could eventually get to tarsiers. So I'm going to make a parenthetical statement. If you wanted to, you could put parentheses around all of these. It's not really necessary, but you could. Um, the first conversion factor is one blobfish equals 10,000 narwhals. I have one blobfish. I need to cancel that out. So I'm going to put one blobfish over 10,000 narwhal like that. Okay. Um, the blobfish will cancel out. If I stopped my math right here, then my answer would be in narwhal. And I don't want that. I need my answer to be in tarsiers. So we're going to do another parenthetical statement. This time I need to cancel out my narwhals. So I'm going to put one narwhal um, on the bottom and then three F and L for frill neck lizards um, above that. Now my narwhal will cancel out. Okay. Again, if I stopped here, my answer would be in frill neck lizards. I don't want that. I need my answer to be in tarsiers. So I'm going to go to the next one and it says the next parenthetical statement, which is this one, frill neck lizard to tarsier. So according to my table, um, 15 frill neck lizards is equal to one tarsier. Now I need to cancel out these frill neck lizards. So the frill neck lizards need to go on the bottom. 15 frill neck lizards and one tarsier like that. Okay, so um, at the end of the day, frill neck lizards cancel out, and my answer will be units wise in tarsiers. Very, very important that you always include your units and you show your work like this with the cross canceling. Now, I'll be real honest with you if you used a calculator at this point, totally fine, right? Um, when I say show the long math, it doesn't mean that you got to like create like this multifaceted, like multiple step, longhand multiplication division problem. The College Board has recently started to allow students to use calculators. So you could use a calculator at this point to get your answer. But I need to see all of this before you do that. OK, and then I'll let you crank out the answer here at the end. All right. Um, second question is how many Dumbo octopuses or octopi? Um, are in four narwhals. So same basic idea. What am I starting with? Okay. Um, and where do I need to go? So I'm starting with four narwhal. And because it says how many Dumbo octopi are in four narwhals. So I'm starting with narwhal and I need to get to the Dumbo octopus. Okay. So we'll make our little mental map. I'm going to go narwhal to something. Okay. So if I look down here, like how can I get from narwhal, okay, to Dumbo octopus. Well, there is a conversion factor here of narwhal to frill neck lizards. I could use that, right? Will that eventually get me though to Dumbo octopi, right? Or anything else like close? Well, um, I've got a frill neck lizard. If I go narwhal to frill neck lizards, well then maybe I can do frill neck lizards to tarsier and then look. I've got a conversion factor that has tarsier and Dumbo octopi in it, okay? So let's try to do that. Um, the narwhal can be converted to a frill neck lizard, and then frill neck lizards can be converted to tarsier. And then once I have my tarsiers, then I can go tarsier to uh, Dumbo octopus, okay? I'm going to put DO for Dumbo octopus because it takes up less room and it's easier to write, just like FNL for frill neck lizards. All right, so you got to do the long math. You got to set this up. Now, you're told you have four narwhals at the beginning. So instead of a parent, parent, parenthetical statement that looks like this with one blobfish over one, I now have to do four over one um, narwhal. Okay, so four over one narwhal. That's where I'm starting because I have four narwhals. Four over one is four. And we're going to convert the narwhal to frill neck lizards. So here's narwhal to frill neck lizards. I need my narwhal to cancel out. So um, narwhal goes on the bottom. So one narwhal, one N, okay, is equal to three F N L, frill neck lizards, okay? The narwhal units cancel. If I stopped here, my answer would be in frill neck lizards. I don't want that. I need to get to Dumbo octopus. So let's keep going. Um, 
So I can go frill neck lizards to tarsier and then tarsier to dumbo octopus. That's my most direct route. So now my frill neck lizards have to be converted to tarsiers. It says it takes 15 frill neck lizards to equal one tarsier. So I'm gonna put 15 frill neck lizards on the bottom and one tarsier um, on, on the top, okay? And then next thing I'm gonna do is convert my uh, tarsier answer here. My frill neck lizards will cancel out. I gotta convert my tarsiers into Dumbo octopus. So on the bottom, I'm gonna write 0 0.0001 tarsiers. So that cancels out, right? 0 0.001 tarsier to two Dumbo octopus. Okay, so now you can see my units have canceled. And if I just multiply across the top and then divide from what I've got on the bottom, like I'll get an answer for that and I'll let you crank that out, okay? Um, don't forget to use scientific notation where you can. It does make this um, a little bit faster and easier, especially if you're trying to do the math without a calculator. Um, if you're using scientific notation, then the digits that you're dealing with are going to be a lot um, smaller, okay? So here my answer will end up being in um, Dumbo octopi, all right? Last one. Okay, blobfish. How many blobfish are in 1 times 10 to the 12 oxalotls. Okay, so here I am circling what I have and where I want to go. Okay, so um, this one's probably going to be the longest one because I've got to go from oxalotls here all the way down to blobfish. Okay, so I'm thinking like I'm going to start off with oxalotl. So I'll just put the AX um, for oxalotl and I got to convert that to Dumbo octopus, which is what I'm going to do first. And then second, I have to go Dumbo octopus and convert that to Tarsier. And then I'm just following this, right? So Oxalotl, Dumbo octopus, Dumbo octopus to Tarsier. So now I got to get from Tarsiers to maybe frill neck lizards or like frill neck lizards to narwhals to blobfish, right? So I'm at tarsiers, so I'm gonna go tarsier to um, frill neck lizard, FNL. Once I'm at frill neck lizard, okay, FNL, then I can go to, um, to narwhal, so N for narwhal. And then I can go narwhal to blobfish. Okay, so it's literally one, two, three, four, five steps. Um, pretty much using all of the conversion factors to get from oxalotl uh, to blobfish. So if you just stick, you know, with scientific notation that you already have here, that'd probably be the best thing to do. Um, as we make our parenthetical statements, we're going to start with our, our oxalotl to Dumbo octopus. We're told we have 1 times 10 to the um, 12 oxalotl over 1. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. We need oxalotls canceled out. So our first parenthetical statement here says that there are um, 10 oxalotls to every 0.22 Dumbo octopi. You cancel that out. So now my answer would be in Dumbo octopi if I stopped right here. Okay. Um, I still need to keep going, so I'm going to convert my Dumbo octopi to tarsiers. So the next one is going to be um, to DO or Dumbo octopi to 0 0.00, make sure I got that right, 0, 01 tarsiers. Okay. Now my Dumbo octopi cancel out, and I'd have an answer in tarsiers. We're not done yet. I need to cancel out my tarsiers. Okay and convert them into frill neck lizards. So um, my 15 frill neck lizards are equal to one tarsier. Those cancel. Now I've got an answer in frill neck lizards. Okay, it's getting long, I know. Um, still not done. I've got to cancel out my frill neck lizards. So three frill neck lizards are equal to one narwhal. So I can go three F and L and one narwhal that cancels out. Okay, 
you're almost there. And now we got to cancel out our narwhal. So I have one blobfish, okay? And one blobfish is equal to 10,000 narwhal. Those cancel out. So if you go through and multiply across the top and then divide by what you have underneath, okay, your answer will end up in blobfish, okay? Um, and yeah, I'll give you, there's probably some shortcuts. Some of you are going to want to do like, oh, I want to just take the 10 and cancel here. So that's a smaller number or things like that. Um, to be honest with you, like how you crank that answer out at the end using a calculator um, or doing it longhand uh, is, is totally up to you. At the end of the day, though, to get full credit, you have to show these parenthetical statements. You have to show a logical understanding of how you get from point A to point B. The, the long math here, right, is, is required, but the actual number crunching that you do at the end, that's totally up to you. Use a calculator, okay? All right, ladies and gents, that is how you do dimensional analysis for the blobfish activity. I'm Mr. Kennedy, and I will see you next time.